But you've got a busy day ahead of you. You've got loads of meetings in and out of the office, maybe in some coffee shops or some other random place. And you're going to be taking loads of copious notes. You're going to be attending various Zoom calls. And so you get your fully charged iPad or laptop and you chuck it in your bag. But because you never know where you're going to end up, what kind of connection you're going to have in terms of charging your iPad up once you've taken those copious notes, you're a good lad. So you pick up your Anchor Prime 250 watt charging bank and you chuck that in your bag too. And away you go. So you've arrived at your coffee shop. Pretend this is a coffee shop. You've got your iPad. You've been using it loads that morning. You need to do a little bit more work now in the privacy of your little coffee shop booth. And you realize you've got no electrical sockets around you. That's okay, because this morning you picked up your trusty Anchor Prime power pack. So you just get that plugged in and away you go, surely. Oh dear, no power. Who forgot to charge this thing the night before? If only there'd been a more convenient way of getting this thing charged and keeping it charged, you don't really have to think about it. Well, maybe there is. Hey everyone, Mark from The Spark here. Good to have you with me. So yeah, the solution to that dilemma, the Anchor multi-device fast charging port. And when I first got this thing, the um, the Anchor Prime 240 watt charger, which has been amazing. I love this thing. Um, you know, you've got your two USB-C ports here and USB-A port here, and you're able to charge things up to 250 watts. So it will do a laptop, particularly my iPad, a few times over. It'll certainly do my iPhone a number of times over as well. And I love it. And when I did the review of this thing, when I took it out and about, my only complaint about this thing was the screen. I didn't think it was bright enough when you were out and about. But when you tend to be using this thing mainly in coffee shops or in offices or wherever you might be, that's not a huge problem. But I just love how quick it charges itself using the um, cable that comes with it. it. Charges incredibly quickly, probably like something stupid like 20 minutes and you're probably already nearly there. The fact that it's got such a great power output has really saved my bacon on a number of occasions. So I don't really worry about when I'm going to be sitting in that fictitious coffee shop without an electrical outlet anywhere. Um, I know I can just rely on this beef, this monster uh, of a useful battery pack. However, there has genuinely been a couple of occasions where I haven't charged it the night before. Now, it's not too big a deal when 20 to 30 minutes, you know, if I put it, plug it into a fast charging plug, such as the um, 100 watt GAN plug from Evergreen, it, this thing charges really, really quickly, but you've still got to wait around for it. And when I ordered this, there was a product that went with it, which is this thing here, obviously this is what we're on about today, um, which I couldn't get at the time, both this and especially this exceedingly popular and they were selling it all the time so I did the video on this about four months ago so I'll, I'll put um, a card somewhere on the screen so you can you can go to watch this um, and also probably at the end of the video as well and um, go watch that go watch my review of this um, I tried to order this at the same time couldn't like I said it's been four nearly five months um, so I eventually got my hands on this and as you can probably imagine from the picture there and from the bottom of this thing here these things go together. Let's get this thing unboxed. Why do no other companies do, they never, they don't seem to do a unboxing experience as what Apple does. I mean, why, why am I having to mess around with this thing? I need to get one of those fancy knives that I see other YouTubers have. Oh, look at that, I've read the box already. Oh well. Okay, so let's get this out of here. Slide this out of here. There we are. I'm hoping my little camera up here is picking stuff up. I guess I can zoom in and stuff. All right, so we've got the device here. We'll just put that to one side because that's what you do when you do these unboxing videos. You, you keep the main thing as the main thing until you've finished unpacking the rest. Let's see what we've got here. I'm just ripping this thing. Why can't it just be easy to unbox? Ugh. Right, okay. <laughs> what have we got here? Right, yeah, so clearly, 
this thing is designed to sit on your desk, whether at home or in the office, and remain plugged in. So the first thing we have here is the plug to get this thing plugged in. And then underneath here, what do we have? Okay, interesting. All right, so we've got um, so we've got a start guide. Obviously, we've got the obligatory safety thing, and then we've got these two things here which says, if you didn't catch it there, please use this adhesive tape to attach the charging base to a table for stable use. So clearly they imagine that you won't be taking this out and about with you because you'll be taking this thing out and about with you. This thing will stay put wherever you have had it. So that's a wrecked box. <laughs> uh, let's get this main thing open and we'll, we'll take a gander at it together. I might as well just rip it. I've ripped everything else about this box. All right, okay. So that's obviously where this thing plugs in here. And then you have around the side, a similar setup to what you have on here. So you've got two USB-C slots there, a USB-A slot there. And the whole point of it is, is that you can sit this on here like this. Oh, it's magnetic. There's a, a real satisfying a kind of magnetic connection that that thing makes. So you keep this thing on your desk, just when you, so when you come home, you plonk it on, it's done, it starts charging using those connections there. But while it's sat on your desk, you can plug, you know, your devices into it and keep your devices charged and what have you. Um, like I say, you can do two, looks like up to on here. So you're charging this wirelessly up to 100 watts yep okay and then you're using and that will charge it quickly so it'll be interesting to see how quickly that charges um and then obviously because it's plugged in it doesn't really matter what the wattage is because your things are getting you know outlet power aren't they so there we go okay so, there, so we've got a screen here at the front so let's get this thing plugged in and see what kind of information we are presented with okay so it's just kind of flashing nothing there yet until I guess we put this thing on top a little blue circle and then here you can see how rapidly that is charging now for the sake of the story at the beginning it wasn't really dead I did have some charge in it obviously um, but that is charging really rapidly and then let's plug in my iPad into the base. So I'm going to do that now. I'll show you that in a second. Let's just move this. Get this cable here. Plug it into the iPad. What does it now display on the front, if anything? Okay. Well, it certainly doesn't seem to be taking any charge away from this device here. So it's still happily charging that. What if I take this off? Does this display anything different? It looks like there's no... Kind of, it's definitely charging my iPad. Looks like there's no display on there, except to tell you that it is it is charging. On this display, however, it does tell you that there that there is charge coming from the base to whatever device that you are charging. So your information is still here. I would have thought there'd have been some little bits of information here. Let me check the instructions see if any display should be on there or whether it is just a little blue dot to let you know that it's a little blue circle to let you know that it's it's charging no nope, just a pulsing dot a pulsing circle to let you know that it's charging and the information about what it's charging or what power is coming from it is on there as you can see, while we've been talking now, we're already, we've gone from, just for a few minutes, we've gone from 72%, I think it was, we're already up to 74%. So, this thing, I think, is a really neat device. It's a neat combination of devices, should I say. This thing stays on your desk, you can use these pads here to keep it secure. Keep this thing fully topped up, so whenever you come home, pop it on there, whenever you get into the office, whatever, whenever you keep this thing, wherever's most convenient. Um, this will be fully charged, so when you're out and about, you can you can sort it out. And then this thing here just stays on your desk. This thing is, they're both really well built. They've both got this, I don't know, can I? 
kind of ribbed effect so they you know that that you, you can hold that really well it's not going to slip out your hands and this thing just keeps that aesthetic going useful that you've got these two things here and the usb a if you still use a usb a connection um so while you're charging it you're not losing uh, any any ways of charging your devices that is the anchor prime fast charger 100 watt output multi-device charging device um, and I think it works really, these two things work incredibly well together. How much did I pay for this device? Well, let me just remind myself, how much did I, how much would you expect to pay for that now on the Anchor website? Let's have a look. Okay, so if you're in the US, this thing is about $179. And this thing is showing as sold out on the Anchor website. Uh, I believe I paid, it doesn't even have the price for this in dollars here, but I paid £49.99 for this. So it's probably going to be something similar uh, in dollars. But it, it's clearly a well sought after thing. So, you know, get yourself on the waiting list. Uh, if you want one of these devices and maybe you want to bag yourself this thing when they next become available. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope that was helpful. Please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And also, consider becoming a member. I'm charging myself with trying to gain 1,000 members of my Substack and YouTube channel. So for less than a cup of coffee a month, you could support me and help me create more content uh, for you to consume and enjoy. And if you do want to see the video about this, check it out here. And I'll see you in the next one.